In this video, I will show you how to use Hive in your Flutter app. Hive is a lightweight key value database written in pure Dart and it allows you to store and sync application data offline. Hive can be considered as one of the most favorable local database by Flutter community. So in today's tutorial, I will show you step by step on setting up Hive, initializing Hive service, and perform CRUD operation on Hive. CRUD operations include create, read, update, and delete from Hive local database. Now, in order to use Hive in your Flutter application, we have to add additional package dependencies, which are Hive and Hive Flutter. Hive Flutter provides extension needed to be used in Flutter app. Now add these two package dependencies into your Flutter project. So in this tutorial, I'm using the latest Hive package version as of today. Now coming back to main.dart file, for tutorial purposes, I have created a simple UI widget that includes text fields and elevated buttons to perform the crude operation. So in my emulator, I have a text field, a store button, an empty text that used to display the value retrieved from Hive, a delete button, a text field, and lastly, an update button. So in my code, you can see each of the button and the on press function is empty which we will be adding the crude operation later. Now let's start with setting up Hive service. So I will be creating a new file called service.dart. This file will mainly use to set up a Hive service class that handles each crude operation function. Firstly, I will be creating a string value called mybox. Each database instance in Hive is called box. So we need to give each box a unique name. Then I will be creating a get method that will execute open box method to open and access the database instance. And this method takes a box name so that it knows which box to return. Don't forget to import Hive package. Next, in the same service class, we will now be creating functions for crude operations. So, four functions needed for crude operations, which are create, read, update, and delete. Let's start from the top. Create operation will be a future void method that takes a string value as parameter. Now in this method, firstly, we have to execute the get method that we created above, which will return the database instance. Then use add method from the database instance and pass in the string value to be added to the database. That's it for create method. Next comes to read method. Read method will return a list, so it will be a future list type that takes no parameter. Again, firstly, we need to retrieve the database instance using the get method. Once we retrieve the database instance, we can use box.values.list to get all the values stored in the database and return it. That's it for read method. Next comes to update method. Update method will be a future void type that takes an integer index value and a string value as parameter. Index value is used to target which value to be updated. So we can use the put add method and pass in the index and value. 
This method will update the string value at the specific index with the new string value that pass in. Last method comes to delete. Delete method is a future void type and it takes an index value as parameter. Once we get the database instance, we can execute and delete add method and pass in the index value. This method will delete the value at specific index. At this point, we have completed our CRUD operations logic. Coming back to main.dart file, in order to use Hive in Flutter app, firstly, we need to initialize Hive service. So in the main method, before run app method starts, initialize Hive service using hive.init flutter. This init flutter method comes from the Hive flutter extension package. So make sure you import Hive flutter package. Now we have done with Hive service initialization. Next, we will be adding each of the crude methods into respective button on press. Let's start with store button. Firstly, create an instance of the Hive service class. Then we can access the create method using the instance. Create method requires a string parameter. So above the button, I have created a text field widget that accepts user input and it's assigned to a text editing controller. Now I will pass in the user input using textController.text to the create method. Next comes to the read button. Again, we need to create an instance of the Hive service. So I have created a list variable to store the list value returned from the read method and by default, the variable is set to empty. Now in the read button, I will execute the read method and update the return value to the list variable above using setState method. The reason to update the return value is because I will be displaying the values list in the text widget below. Next comes to delete button. Again, create an instance of the Hive service. And execute the delete method. For delete method, it takes an integer index. So I will be passing in zero as the index, which indicates the first element. Lastly, which is the update method. Update method takes an integer value and a string value. For the string value, above this widget, I have created another text field widget that accepts user input and it's assigned to text controller tool. Now for the index value, I will manually set it as zero, which is the first element and the string value will be text controller tool dot text. As of now, we have completed adding each crude operation to respective buttons. Now let's try it out in the emulator. Firstly, let's store some values. So I will input United States and click on the store button. Now, when I click on the read button, you can see it retrieve the value that we store in the list below. Now, let's add a few more like Canada. And Norway. Now, our local database has three values. Next, let's try the delete button. So when I click on the delete button and re-click on the read method, 
you can see United States value is removed from the list as in my delete button, I pass in zero index as the parameter, which it will delete the first element. Now let's add back some data to the database. Next, let's try out the update button. So here I have input Germany, and when I click on the update button and re-click on the read button, you can see the first element value is updated to Germany. This is also because I have set the index to zero in the update button. So again, I input United Kingdom and click on update. When I click on the read button again to retrieve the latest list, United Kingdom has replaced United States value. Now the benefits of using local database is that even the user killed the app, the data is still preserved. So now I have killed the app state and when I reopen the app and click on read button, it still managed to retrieve the last updated data. Conclusion, this is how you initialize, set up and perform crude operation in Flutter Hive. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.